everyone, it's Mari and Kelly and I are back this week with another challenge for you. And the challenge this week is to create a layout that has a title that is a quote. And I'm just showing you here some of the products that I'm going to be using from the Felicity Jane Heidi collection. And this is the photograph I'm going to be scrapping. It is a three and a half by three and a half square photo printed in black and white. And I'm going to be using this really pretty pale pink um, pattern paper, just showing you there my idea of where I want the quote to go, which will be kind of in that area below the photograph. And I just went into the Heidi kit and I found some, some scraps that I had used for another layout or that were left for another from another layout. And I was just kind of placing them on the, this background paper to try to sort of create a spot for my photograph. And when I was looking at that photograph, when I was preparing to do the, the layout, I knew that I wanted to use a doily with it because it's the perfect size for that. It's, um, you know, it just fits really nicely onto that size of a doily. And so that's what I'm going to use as a mat. And the Felicity Jane kits work really well with doilies just because their kits are very feminine and pretty and it just works, right? And that's one of the reasons why I love the kits is because they are just so beautiful. Um, the kits typically do come with a floral paper and this was the floral in the Heidi kit and I had fussy cut some of these pieces out and I decided that I would use them with this paper and with that straight paper because it has all of those complement those colors that complement the, the floral piece as well. So I took a few of those pieces and I'm just going to use them as a couple of cluster areas around the photograph. Now I knew that I wanted to create a little cluster in the upper kind of left hand corner area of the photo and I knew I wanted a cluster on the other side. So typically when you're doing that um, you wouldn't put the clusters directly opposite each other. Um, it looks a little bit better if they're just offset or kind of slightly diagonal to each other. So that's what I was attempting to do here. I wasn't trying to put them directly across from each other. Although I feel like in the end, they kind of almost ended up that way, but it wasn't my original intent. That's for sure. So I'm just kind of taking a few of the other, some of the die cuts from that same kit. So the kits now come with uh, really heavy cardstock die cuts, which are gorgeous. They used to come with um, cut apart sheets, but uh, Gina has changed that. And I really love that aspect of the kits now with those um, cut apart or with that, sorry, with the die cut packs and they're gorgeous. So the little, some of the little floral pieces are die cuts. And then you can see that there's a tag there that I'm going to use. And that was a white tag that I covered with some of the darker blue paper from the kit. And then I used one of the um, little circles for the, the hole in the tag that was provided with the kit. Now I'm taking these little tassels and I've just um, put some white cord through the little openings in the tassels. And I'm gonna back those onto that cardstock um, chip or that, um, oh, I can't talk tonight, that die cut strip. And I really like that because that floral and that die cut strip behind those pom-poms actually matches the florals that I fussy cut. So that's going to be kind of an embellishment in the bottom area. So as I'm kind of designing this and working through where I'm going to put things, I still am leaving that gap for that quote below the photograph. And I always also wanted to use some of these really pretty sparkling clear sequins um, that I had in my stash, which are so pretty. And I just feel like they really pop off of that really light pink. They just look, look really nice. So I'm going to use some, some of the alphas that were in a previous kit. I couldn't tell you which kit these are from because I, I did subscribe to the kits for a while, about a year, I think or so. And I took, um, and kind of amalgamated all of the different kits together, the papers and everything. And uh, these are some of the really pretty blue alphas that came with another kit that matched the blue in this Heidi kit. Now originally, and this is the part where I really struggled with this challenge, was trying to incorporate this title. Uh, the quote is the title because um, all of the quotes that I thought of and could find were too long and that was the biggest struggle. Um, so the quote that I originally thought of was, um, now, if I can remember it, uh, to someone in the world, how does that go? Um, you are just, you are just one person 
to others in the world, but to one person, you are the world or something like that. You guys can probably remember what the quote is. I'll put it on this frame if I remember to, but I shortened it up and found another quote. Um, I think this is from a Keith Urban song and it's, you are the one that I adore. And I did that because Bailey and Brady, both especially Bailey, really loves Keith Urban. And so I thought that this would really resonate with her with these engagement photographs that I've been scrapbooking. So I really like that quote and it just works. I think it works in the sense that it's kind of applies to both of them. And so then I thought, you know what, like I, there were so many quotes that I could have used on this layout that were just too long. And I could think of a hundred, you know, cause I'm a reader. I really enjoy classic fiction as well as like any kind of reading. I I'm a reader. And, uh, so I thought, you know what I'm going to do for the journaling on this layout is I'm going to just write uh, about like, just kind of write out a whole bunch of really nice quotes that are love kind of inspired. Right. So that's what I did. So what you'll see here, as soon as I'm done with these, uh, putting down these little, um, uh, sequence here is I'm going to show you and put down the dot the um oh man <laughs> this, this voiceover is a struggle I'm so sorry I should I've said this before I should never do my voiceovers in the evening but when you work all day it's kind of reality when I put the journaling down on the left side that's what it's going to be is all of those different quotes from different pieces so there it is there so <sighs> There's the journaling. So I'm going to stick that down and then you'll just see me add a little bit of uh, embellishment uh, with some cardstock above and below it with that darker color. <clears throat> and I just thought that that was a nice accent and it brings that darker color of blue back over to that side on the left. And I'll stick that down and then I'm going to add some stamping from the Felicity Jane kit as well from the same Heidi kit. And I love their stamps. Their stamps are so gorgeous. So on that journaling, it says there's some quotes there from Wuthering Heights. There's some quotes from Gone with the Wind. Uh, ooh, it's a really, you know, there's a lot of different, very eclectic, both classic and contemporary kinds of quotes there. And I just thought that was kind of neat. And I did some different things there with the font and made some of the font different size and a different kind of font. And I did a drop cap for the first letter of the of the journaling and that kind of thing just to make it look a little bit more interesting so i'm going to take those um, stamps out and just stamp above and below i'm going to put a heart stamp above the journaling and then below it i'm going to stamp love you just the way you are which is really a nice sentiment and i love that for this layout so slowly but surely this is coming together i wanted to tell you what tool it was that i used for those sequence there because i was babbling on when i was putting those down but I used a Marvy um, jewel picker, it's called, and that is a really cool tool. And it's got a large end and a smaller end on it, and you can use that to pick up your sequins, and it does work super well. So I highly recommend that. It was not an expensive tool at all, and it's called the Marvy um, tool picker. <laughs> No, that's not it. It's called the Marvy Jewel Picker, I believe. And if I think of it, which will be a miracle, I will link it up in the description box below, but I'll really try hard for you guys because you know what? You subbies are important to me. I do try my best to help you out with things. And if you, you guys are so great about leaving me a comment, if I forget to link something up um, and you want to know, uh, I really appreciate that if you ask and then I will put it in the comments and then it will remind me. So thanks a lot. I, I appreciate it. Thanks for working with me guys. <laughs> anyway, um, I did have a long day. I had a meeting that lasted all day long. And then of course, after the meeting, I had to go back to the school and do a bunch of stuff at the school. And I had drama practice with the kids until five o'clock and you know, I commute to work every day. So by the time I got home and blah, 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 probably no different than all of your days. So thanks so much for stopping by at the end of your long day to hear me blubber through this <laughs> voiceover. I'm sure Kelly's voiceover will be way better than mine. I am adding some more of those sparkling clear sequins on here. Now you can see that I added some above and to the right of the photograph. And to balance that off, I didn't want to put them on the same side. 
So you're going to see me um, fussing around with where to put those sequins. And I decide to put them just to the left of the word one. So they're going to go in there. And I'm trying not to put them in a really tight little concentrated area. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit. So I use that jewel picker again to... Um, to stick to put those down kind of find the right spot for them pick them up put the adhesive down and then use the jewel picker to put the sequin down on top of the adhesive there you go uh, so I'm also going to put a little bit of twine in my little tag and I'm going to just fuss with that a little bit there I just wanted to put I obviously wanted to put some twine in there just because like you know that hole should be filled with something and so I'm just going to fuss around with that. I'm going to trim that off a little bit. I think I end up put, taking it out because I wasn't happy with it and putting another piece in and I don't know. I spent way more time working on this layout than I really needed to uh, just because I don't know, like, have you ever had nights like that where you've tried some things and it's just not going right and you try something else and you don't like that either and you know what I did was at one point I dropped one of my clear stamps, my Felicity Jane stamps on my carpet in my craft room and the carpet in there is floral and <laughs> I looked for quite a while for that stamp guys. So yeah, things just didn't really go my way when I was working on this. But anyway, when the layout is finished, I actually really like how it looks. I think it's really pretty and lovely and I think it'll look nice with the other um, engagement photos that I'm putting together in an album for these guys. Now I thought I would use that wood grain um, paper as a frame for this and I took just a little bit of the edge of the layout off on the top and on the right side but I actually didn't like this. I thought it was too dark and I just thought that it kind of spoiled the look of, you know, the delicate nature of the layout. I just didn't like it at all. And I don't know how you guys feel about that, but that's kind of what I thought. So I, and I'm not sad that I gutted that paper because I have another sheet of it. When I really love one of the, the kits from Felicity Jane, I typically will order the paper pack with the kit. I think that's just on my part. I just feel way better about cutting into some of the papers because some of them are just you know, hard to cut into, right? Because they're so gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. But so I just really liked how this white looked. I think it just looks better. It just complements it and gives it a little bit of an edge, a little bit of a margin around the edge. And I like that look. So this is going to be my layout. It's all finished. And thanks for sticking with me to the end. Thanks if you didn't just click stop and <laughs> go right on to Kelly's without watching through. I appreciate it. Uh, Kelly's layout, if you haven't already seen it, check it out i will link up to her channel in the description box below and you can just see i'm showing you some of the sewing that i did on the layout as well so don't forget to go check her out and i know that kelly's layout is gorgeous and she showed me a little sneak peek and i guarantee you you are going to love it so hey guys hope to see you soon um kelly and i are going to take a little hiatus for a little bit um we've got just some scheduling issues and we'll be back soon though see you soon Bye-bye.